Goldberg. Oh, hi, Howard. Yeah, I got referred to you because I had a question about... Um, it deals with the uh, timestamps on the Associated Press stories. Um, Associated Press reporter, when they submit a story the uh when when the date and the time of the the submission is always as a part of protocol put on the story is that correct um uh, i'm not even sure i understand the question and i'm not sure who i'm talking to and why you're asking me this so uh can we take a few steps back and uh mm -hmm. tell me who i'm talking with well, my name is Chris Kendall, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm with a like internet talk show called uh, Hoaxbusters Call, mm -hmm. and um, we deal we talk a lot about you know the media and issues mm -hmm. surrounding the media and, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me and so that uh, you know when a story comes out in the press and um well, I'm trying to be as I'm trying to summarize it, this as clear it, as I can it, so, I mean the basic issue here is I deal with business development here at AP so if you have mm -hmm. a question about how a story got edited or sent you should talk to someone in our news department or okay. someone in our corporate communications department may have already fielded calls about that story and may have a ready answer. So I may not be the right person for you to talk with, even though you said someone referred you. Yeah, I me. talked about three people before you. And Oh, geez. Um, I hate when that happens, but um, uh, I do tend to get a lot of the uh, calls here by default when people aren't sure who to send them to. So uh, what... Um, if you can help me get to the bottom of exactly what it is that's the concern that we're talking about, we are, you know, we have like a standards test that mm -hmm. looks into any questions that get raised about any of our stories and their accuracy or any, yeah. anything that, you know, might not be up to our standards. So we're always happy to look into questions, but we have to know what the question is or what the issue is. Well, um, let me try to explain as best I can. You have, uh, in, in any organization, okay, you have a set of uh, procedures or protocols or mm -hmm. um, that, you know, is normally followed as a matter of course whenever you do something as, um, and then when I'm talking about the Associated Press, um, you know, you're dealing with reporting events, right, that um, usually occur within a uh, like on a given day you know what I mean like say uh, a parade happened and it was Memorial Day the Associated Press releases a story about the parade and mm -hmm. then the timestamp on the story will have the day and the time and stuff that the report was submitted for that event you mean published published or submit or oh. what Whatever that's see I, I see I don't know exactly what the but do you do you understand what I mean by timestamp? Well, I mean we all work on computers. Uh -huh. I mean, and any given piece of content goes through any number of computers, and I guess all those computers have clocks running, and some of them, mm -hmm. you know, uh, enable you to pull up directories that show what time a story was mm -hmm. uh, stored into the computer or last or whatever but you know so that, that's a technical question I I don't answer technical questions and I'm not an AP spokesman uh -huh. but uh, I'm just trying to figure out what your issue is so I can get you the right person yeah is I, there a I'm just story I'm, you're concerned about yeah you, you say you were with the hoax busters is right. there a story you think is the hoax well I mean uh, just to step back a little bit, um, do, do you understand the nature of my question, though? I mean, do you, do you, you know, you know no. what? I'm, you, you, but you know what? Do you what? I, you know what I'm um, talking about when I say timestamp, though, right? I know that 
any story that gets written mm -hmm. gets written in a computer, and the computer knows what time that story was stored. Okay. What time someone hit save and put it into the computer system. If that's a timestamp, that's a timestamp. Obviously, the same story could have, since our stories go out to a billion people mm -hmm. and go through thousands of computers at our thousands of customers, they get lots of timestamps all across the world because they go through various computer systems, just, I'm assuming. And, of course, I'm not a technical expert, so I'm just trying to help you get to the right person to answer your question. Okay, so whoever would know something about that, I, I guess I would need to speak to them. Um, as what far story as, is it about? Um, it's is about, it about a story in the United States or overseas, or uh, what? And, uh, is it a story we did in print or in video? Or well, it it, it could be. Um, it's 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 kind of a general question. It's not really. It's. I mean, it does deal with, you know, some specific stories, but it also um, is, is trying, like, when you when, when somebody's looking at a story or something like that, should they expect a timestamp to reflect, um, you know, a consistent degree of accuracy? Like, what you're saying is um, kind of is giving me more insight here because you're saying, well, it's computers, and we know that, you know, uh, with, with an automated system, a server could be in... Uh, Hawaii, you're submitting it in Washington, and it's going to Hawaii, and it's putting a timestamp on it. And it's like Hawaiian time, or so I, I'm. I'm a little bit familiar with those oh, kinds yeah, of issues yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a lot. There, are, in other words, there are tons of issues. So, in other words, if right. someone raised a particular issue with us mm -hmm. and said, uh, "Why, you know, why did you, why did you publish a story at?" Two o'clock. That seems to not have some information that you should have known at one o'clock or whatever. Right. Then we yeah, could exactly. go back and investigate that. But we'd have to start with a particular story so that we could figure out what it was because of all those issues that you yeah. describe. I mean, okay. our but you're orders, saying you're saying yeah, that's not your stories to us a variety of ways, and uh, um, we take in information in uh, hundreds of offices around the world in different sure. ways and. People are using different, you know, devices to send stuff in. They're in the field with laptops and iPhones and and so on and so forth. And they're emailing and they're, you know, closing stories that they write in our content management system into the system. And editors are going into the story and creating copies of the story so that two or three people can work on the story at the same time, uh, and so on. So it gets very complicated very quickly. And so the only way to really look into it in a particular on a particular issue would be if we had a concern then someone would investigate it preferably as soon as possible because the longer you wait the harder it is to sort something like that out mm -hmm. but that's not you, you said that's not your area so you wouldn't be able no, to no like, I'm just any... talking to my general knowledge from mm -hmm. having worked here for 26 right, years yeah. I mean yeah. do, you, do, you have, do you have any idea who might possibly be more uh informed on that particular aspect of like the how that how that works if, if uh, we have any number of people and we have like 3,000 employees so if uh -huh. I knew what story it was or what the specific concern was in other words we would refer to the either the manager in charge of that or the standards desk if uh, uh, and so on so I in other words I if you have a media uh, mm -hmm. inquiry you need to talk to our corporate communications department because they would launch it from there and they would go to the right person. But I don't take media inquiries because that's not my job. My job's business development. Now, if I can sell you some AP content, uh, that's my job and I can do that for you. Mm. Um, I'm just helping you because you happen to tell me that I'm the fourth person you talk to and I didn't want to send you to get a fifth person right away. Yeah, but I appreciate I, basically, it. Basically, I mean, all I can tell you is that I'm not a I I told you everything I can tell you, and it, if you're not willing to uh, be more specific about what your concern is, I don't think we can um, help you any further. Um, so you you're not clear on what I'm asking, though. You know you don't understand what I'm what I mean. No, I understood exactly what you asked, okay. and I told you everything I know about it. So that's kind of um, I'm at the end of it now. I do actually have like several projects I'm in the middle of mm -hmm. that 
I have some deadlines today on, so I have to get off the phone because this isn't really uh, my job here. Okay. Um, well, I'll just try. I'll just try somebody else, and uh, I appreciate. Well, okay, it. but I would strongly recommend. I'm perfectly happy to tell you who the right people are. But I'd strongly recommend you be more specific with your question because um, you're just, you know, I basically you asked a very general question. I gave you the only general answer that I know of for that general question. I don't know that it's. Uh, I don't know that it's not. I'm. I don't know how more specific I can be. I mean, it's. I mean, is there a I, story I would, that you think AP got wrong? Uh, it's not a matter of. It's not a matter of uh, somebody making an error or a mistake. It's a matter of um, what I would like to get clarified is. Um, you know, on, on a timestamp on a story, uh, should there mm-hmm. be any expectation? Of it being accurate, and what you're telling me is um, no, it sh- you shouldn't expect any kind of accuracy. No, I didn't say that. I did not say that. Well, I'm okay. So uh, what you're I said whatever timestamp is you are seeing somewhere was put on by the computer of wherever it is you're seeing it. So if you're sitting inside the AP newsroom, mm-hmm. it would be the AP computer. If you're looking at um, some website, it's their timestamp. So in other words, it's, it's consider your source. Okay, so let's say a story comes out and um, the event uh, in question was to take place like yesterday, but the timestamp says uh, instead of Monday, the, uh, we'll see, yesterday was Who's the 16th. Time stamp? Any timestamp. Any time well, then that's the question. That's uh, that's where you're not being specific enough. In other words, if you if you say to me, "How did Yahoo get its timestamps on AP stories?" I could send you the AP sales executive who deals with Yahoo, who you know might ha- know something about that. If you if you ask the same question about MSN, it might be a different person. If you ask the same question about a- the AP mobile app, it would be uh, a third person. If you ask the same question about uh, you know, any of the hundreds or thousands of places you could be seeing this, the answer might be different. So that's why I, I can't really help you any further. That's why what I what that goes back to the statement I made earlier. There's probably then, as based on what you just got through saying, there mm-hmm. would be no expectation that you would ha- have any degree uh, uh, that you would expect uh, accuracy or consistency because you're telling me that's that not what I said. I mean, no, but what what is your point by bringing that up then? I, I don't understand. What I said was, without knowing what you're asking about, we can't help you with an answer. That's my the only thing I'm saying. Without knowing what speci- whose specific timestamp that you saw where about um, I'll give you a story here. It's from Eric Tucker and Brett Zonger, the Associated mm-hmm. Press. It says the police. FBI, shooter reported in the military building at Washington Navy Shipyard, multiple mm-hmm. victims, Sunday, 15th of September, 2331. <clears throat> now, this was supposed to take place yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. You see what I'm saying? Is that clear? But who's t- who's who said Sunday? Who's Where are you seeing the 15th? <laughs> That's, are you, that's are your, you inside the Navy newsroom looking at our computer, or are you at, uh, looking at somebody else's website? Because if you're looking at somebody else's website, your issue is with them, and we don't, you know, may or may not know anything about how the material got onto their website. This is associated. We have press. thousands of cust- we have thousands of customers, and then we have thousands of sites that are, you know, reprinting and scraping our stuff without permission or misappropriating it. So without knowing where you're seeing it. We can't help. I'd be happy to give you our uh, uh, contact in our uh, corporate communications department that handles these calls, but I've reached the end of the time I can allot to uh, taking a call that doesn't involve the area in which I work. Um, so can I uh, send you – I'm sorry to do this, but I'm going to have to send you to someone else. Okay, yeah, if you could send me to somebody else that, that would be more, more familiar with this, that would be great. Okay. I'm just baffled why you're trying to ask. The I'm baffled too. Where my, you're I'm, it. I'm baffled too, my man. I'm really baffled. I don't know what the fuck goes on. 
and I'm sorry to curse, but uh, this is ridiculous. Okay, well, uh, that is enough reason for me not to really want to uh, send this call to one of my colleagues. Um, I can understand. Uh, I can understand that. It's kind of AP a hot potato. main number is 212-621-1500. Okay. All right. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, Bye -bye. Howard. Bye. Sister Press. Hi. Uh, is Eric Tucker available? With the One moment, please. AP, this is Eric. Hello, Eric. Um, yeah, my name is Chris Kendall. I'm with the internet talk show called Hoaxbusters. And um, I have a question for you regarding a recent Associated Press report. And you're listed with Brett Zonger as uh, the source of this report. Okay. Uh, the... the headline of it reads police FBI uh, shooter reported a military building at Washington Navy Yard multiple victims um, uh -huh. the, the timestamp is Sunday the 15th of September 2013 that must be an incredible you know I someone sent me an email about this I don't know what to say other than I that timestamp is obviously of course it's incorrect so how does your timestamps get put on the stories? You you put them in. I, menu? I don't. I you know what I could do. I can I can give you the number for our corporate communications, which is they, they No, I already. I just got off the phone with them about two minutes ago. They couldn't answer my question. I was wondering if you could help me with this. How does your timestamp get put on the stories? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. That's that's about. You my have case no theory. idea. So it's not accurate, obviously. So how how do we know that anything in this report is accurate? Can you get? Can you? I'm not. Answer that? I'm yeah. sorry, sir. You reach me. I actually, when I'm in the middle of something. Well, what are you in the middle of making up another fake story, or what are you doing? Uh huh. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. <coughs>